think one of the tip i would like to give is which most of the seniors would have already given to you is like start early start very early like i started with port chef long challenges initially and then i moved to port forces please get your cv reviewed multiple times with seniors like there are seniors who are ready to help you hello everyone welcome to ic2c's podcast series today we are again with mr hardik agarwal he has done another video with us wo par aapko i button mein mil jayegi usme hum log ne discuss kiya tha ki what was your interview experience at sprinklers and why did you choose sprinkler over microsoft and is microsoft interview experience and today in this video we are going to discuss about uh, he got shortlisted in eight companies so he will be telling about that and how did he order these companies and if if he get the second chance of getting into google and uber what would he like to improve and finally we'll give some tips and tricks for juniors so moving forward hardik uh, can you tell us like in how many companies you got shortlisted okay so i was shortlisted in eight companies those were google uber uh, microsoft sprinkler dshop quadai uh, and goldman sachs and nutanix so like all of them had a coding round and nutanix also had a debugging round followed by some shortlisting shortlisting on uh on india serum uh, i personally felt that the interview round of sprinkler was the hardest closely followed by uber and i also felt i also felt that google also used some other criteria to shortlist people uh, like they they there were some other criteria like six star rank code jam the performance in online coding competitions and like resume and there were some other stuff that they used so Uh, moving forward like uh, how did you order these companies okay so so like my order was as follows like firstly at the top i had google and uber for very obvious reasons like everyone preferred these companies because of the great work work life balance and the culture at these companies like they have the smartest people around in among all these companies and like it's it's a very good these are very good companies to grow then uh, like i placed dsho dsho and nutanix dsho goldman sachs and quadai towards the flag end of my priority list because i wasn't very sure that if i wanted to start with a uh, fintech company at the very beginning of my career because like uh, i like obviously the profiles were great Yeah, and the compensation was like even better, but I was more inclined towards like brainstorming part that I thought one could get better at uh, like software, mostly core software engineering companies. Then I had a tough choice between Sprinkler and Microsoft, but I chose Sprinkler because of the amazing job profile they offered, and uh, like closely followed by that of Nutanix. Uh, yeah so moving forward uh, hardik if you get a second chance of uh, in uber and google uh, what would you like to improve okay so what happened in my uber round was like the first two rounds went pretty pretty smooth uh, like the first one was a dsa like data structures round where i was asked to implement a, a set of functions using uh, a given data structure so it was some Uh, implementation part that include code, me coding up five to six functions uh, since i was done well within my time i was also given some bonus to functions to implement and we wrapped up very quickly and everything went very smooth in the first round uh, a similar story uh, like followed in the second round where i was asked a normal algorithmic question on implementation of tries where a node store some probabilities in the that that particular subtree and i solved that question in one go uh, like after explaining my thought process to the interviewer but like the i think the major misunderstanding between me and the interviewer occurred in the third round that was an hr round to be very particular like th- there were some miscommunication between between my like research prospects and how i was performing in the interviews like i wasn't very like able to con- i wasn't able to convince him very uh, nicely that why i wanted to uber and how my 
like research profile act was actually beneficial for the company and uh, in in what many ways i can contribute to the company like obviously i tried uh, explaining to them but uh, like then there was a discussion on my one of the research pro- project that he chose to question me up and uh, like there were some uh, like open ended questions uh, that we discussed upon but at the end we like both uh, like we both were very unclear about the like what type of profile i had and i wasn't able to like in short i wasn't able to convince him that i wasn't like i was i was able i will be able to present a use case of my research projects in the company uh then in google what happened was uh, uh, like quite a similar story to uber i would say like the first round was uh like uh, as planned it was very it was very smooth round i was able i was done with the problem well before time and then we followed it with a few bonus questions uh, that i attempted and the first again like the first interviewer was very satisfied with my uh, performance like after 3 or 4 hours my second round followed uh, like but since it was at the like fag end of the day where like most of the uh, like companies were starting to wrap up uh both me and the interviewer were very tired and hence there was a communication gap between me and him uh like there was a problem and like it turned out that for say 15 20 minutes i was solving an alternate version of the given problem so like that showed the seeds of uncertainty in mind of uh, interviewer that like he isn't a very good listener but the like the but the actual reason was maybe some something different so like that led to some miscommunication like after i was done with like one question that was a standard question on strings and two pointers uh, like we discussed on uh, like improving the complexity and how i reduced from o of n square to o of n log n and o of n and like again it was more of a communication lag so i would like to uh, like uh, improve upon my communication skills and my like there are some certain questions that one can expect to be uh, questioned upon in interviews like for example it was a very standard question for me like why why job offer uh, why like why corporate job over research and like i had care research in my profile as well so it is also something that balanced more of my profile towards research so like one should be prepared for these type of question and like apart from those coding and dsa around that you prepare for and i, I think one must like work up on mock interviews and talk to seniors like what uh, mistakes they did and try to improve them and like get a basic hold of what mistakes one should not commit while giving interviews so yeah awesome that's it uh, so moving forward ardik can you give some tips and tricks for your juniors to help them okay so like one of the tip i would like to give is which most of the seniors would have already given to you is like start early start very early i started at the end of my first year like mostly in the summers where i was like working for kerasg and side by side i was getting my hands dirty in competitive programming and like i started with code chef long challenges initially and then i moved to code forces like i, I like i moved in a breadth first order like i first solved a various number of problems of 1400 to 1500 difficulty and then i gradually scaled up the difficulty level yeah. so that is one such strategy uh, for reading material i used uh, like various blogs and articles i think there are uh, like various number of good articles on internet one can find and cpl guys some such one such site i would like to recommend for competitive programming and i was basically firstly i was preparing for icpc but uh, since a lot uh, lot of slavers of icpc and 
uh, like these interviews uh, coincides with each other so uh, like it really helps like if you prepare for one it really helps in preparation of the other and then uh, at the end towards the end part of my journey like when the inter- internships neared i also started practicing on interview bit like they have a very uh, guided path given at their website where the questions are uh, sorted by the topics so i was uh, practicing those because those were the questions that one would generally expect in coding round and interviews and i was also working on my code writing like how to write neat code uh, skills so these were few things that i used to prepare so like starting early gives you an edge over your peers because like you 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 get more time to cover more stages uh then i would also like to advise the junior that please get your cv reviewed multiple times with seniors like there are seniors who are ready to help you uh like that helps you just those that helps you erase those shortcomings in your cv that can otherwise lead to uh, questions in the interviews that one can become un- uncomfortable with so like there's a nice way to present yourself and uh, who better to tell these uh, like what what type of pattern one should follow in cv than experienced seniors and then at the end like uh, the the third advice i would like to give is that prepare for interviews well uh, by giving mock interviews like i also gave a few interviews on sites like interview bit and there were few of them and i think icu2c is also one such site that is going to provide interviews in coming time and i think it's a great initiative and like uh, like you should be having a list of hr questions and their answers written and one should be expect one should have a good idea about what kind of profile he is aiming for and talk to seniors who have backed internships in similar field and finally at the end of the day it's all about your confidence like how you present yourself at the front in the front of the interviewer yeah. so yeah these are the few tip these are few these are the few tips i would like to give to the junior that's great and one more thing guys agar abhi tak channel ko subscribe nahi kiya to subscribe kar do kyunki aise bahut sare videos aur lined up hai jo aane wali hai and video ko like kar do so, thank you hardik for being with us you did a very good time okay yeah okay.